Twelve years ago, White Wolf Publishing unveiled a shadowy reflection of our own world inhabited by monsters who wore the guise of men. The most subtle of these were the Scions of Cain, the blood-drinking vampires who called themselves kindred. Their story was Vampire the Masquerade. Vampire, and all of White Wolf really, was built on a commitment to quality. We believe that role players wanted and deserved a game that was both exciting and that tackled moral complexities head on. Role playing is a unique form of storytelling and we wanted to push the envelope. We wanted to introduce a little artistry and maturity to what had been a less mature hobby. But the kindred had a dreaded enemy, savage beasts they called the lupines. To these shape changers, however, vampires were just one more manifestation of the malignant force that they were made to fight. Half man, half wolf, they called themselves Garu. Their story was Werewolf the Apocalypse. Joining the kindred and Garu were men and women of will and enlightenment, able to reshape reality itself. Some called them witches, sorcerers, or madmen. They called themselves Awakened. Their story was Mage the Ascension. Vampire, Werewolf, and Mage really were the pillars of the World of Darkness. They established the precedence upon which everything else was built. Vampire, Werewolf, and Mage together formed the core of the World of Darkness, a dark and terrible reflection of the modern world in which a legion of stories would unfold. But every story has its end. By calling this the world of darkness and talking about Gehenna and the apocalypse and so on, we were delivering a message. We're saying the story is going to end one day. That's important. That gives it a sense of finality. Our fans have come to expect top-notch storytelling from the world of darkness. A great story needs a great ending. With the release of the revised edition of Vampire the Masquerade, White Wolf launched the final nights. With each subsequent year, Armageddon would get closer and closer. A shadow war raged between Kindred of the East and West, and in the midst of it, the progenitor of Clan Ravnos met his end in a terrible conflagration. This was the Week of Nightmares. In its aftermath, the youngest of vampires were able to sire, giving rise to half-undead freaks able to resist the sun and even mate with the living. This was the time of thin blood. Vampire Revised really started the whole thing. We called it the final nights, and it meant that we were now heading down the slippery slope toward the big end. But you can say the end until you're blue in the face. You've got to show it, you've got to mean it, and that's why we killed the Ravnos. The clan novel series allowed us to really show what the beginning and the end felt like. Not only did we bring in some heavy hitters, Methuselahs, Antediluvians, and so on, but we got to see what it was like when the vampires themselves got the message. Then, the sixth maelstrom swept the underworld, and the most hateful of the dead rose in the flesh of their own corpses as the walking dead. They faced those men and women imbued with the power to see the unnatural and the outrage to hunt it. This was the reckoning. Hunter broke with our tradition of playing the monster, and that was intentional. The Reckoning allows us to focus on the normal folks caught up in this apocalyptic time. Those who knew the spirit worlds trembled as a red star appeared in the sky, growing brighter and brighter. This was Anthelios, the anti-sun, and they despaired. The mightiest of mages flocked to uncover its secrets, and the maelstrom destroyed them. This was the time of revelations. The Red Star and the Avatar Storm were counterpoints to Hunter, really. Just like things were falling apart on the street, so too were they in the spirit realms. In games like Mage and Werewolf, the spirit is as important as the physical. Both games also got revised editions that emphasize the Final Nights aspects of the setting. The Maelstrom swept through the stronghold of the Egyptian dead. Osiris, who had slumbered for uncounted millennia, rose to see all he had built destroyed. This was the resurrection. Mummy is a more hopeful, even heroic game than most others in the world of darkness. In the context of the march to the end, it allowed us to show that some people, and some creatures, were making a stand against that end. 
If there was ever a time to make a difference, it was now. Finally, the maelstrom cracked the gates of hell itself. The devils and abominations of the pit rose to earth to fight their wars anew. This was the devil's night. The Infernal had been around in the world of darkness before, but it was always a little bit off to the side. People here and there would make a deal with a mysterious devil, or they served the pit, but they never really had the richness of vampires or werewolves. So with the release of Demon the Fallen, that told the demon's own story, and that was a final way of saying that things had changed, that things aren't reversible anymore. And hell, if, if demons walking around doesn't mean the end of the world is here, what does? First sign, dawn wars with dust, and a great conflagration ensues. In the second sign, the blood runs thin, creatures unknown rise. Third sign, the grave gives up the dead to fight a war with the quit. In the fourth sign, the sky goes red and the wisest fall. In the fifth sign, the dead guy rises and begets his children. In the sixth sign, the damned are loose and the city of angels trembles and burns. By these signs that the time of judgment is upon us. From now through March of 2004, White Wolf does the unthinkable and brings the world of darkness to an end. We've been building up to this point for years now. It's, it's time to put up or shut up. In 1991, we released Vampire the Masquerade. We promised the fans that the world was going to end. Now we're making good on that promise. The Vampire Vienna. The werewolf's apocalypse, the mage's ascension, all merge into a great event that not only shakes the world, but destroys it, and you're invited. This is the time of judgment.